A lot of us remember last year's hard freeze because it killed so many of our plants. Those sub-zero temperatures were far below our average winter lows. That was rare because in reality our average minimum temperature is increasing. That means more plants are thriving. Our Hannah McDonald looks at how this affects what we can plant. Picking plants is not something Tina stops when the temperature drops because I kind of know what, what typically grows in certain seasons. On this chilly day, she's shopping at Gardens of Babylon for hardy plants to put in her window box. Some greenery that'll make the, the flower, flowers kind of pop. I look for plants I think will make it through the winter, yes. As it turns out, gardeners have a few more options this year. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has a new plant hardiness zone map. Most of Middle Tennessee is now in Zone 7B instead of 7A. We understand that it can be tricky to navigate sometimes. Neil Anderson is the general manager of this garden center. People have always planted things that were marginal to our zone, like loripetalums, camellias, with the risk that if we have a really cold winter, they probably won't make it. Hardiness zones are based on the lowest average minimum temperature. And because of climate change, our average winter and nighttime temperatures are going up. But while the hardiness zone may be different, people who've transplanted from warmer areas probably still shouldn't expect to plant the same things here. People coming from warmer climates like Southern California are often surprised to find that they can't plant their citrus in the ground and they can't plant all manner of palm trees. Take it from Tina, extreme weather like that hard freeze last Christmas will ruin even the best laid plans. We had several laurels come back, um, so things did come back, but not a lot. Sometimes a house plant is the safest route to go. But it still stays alive and looks pretty. In Nashville, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5.